Today we are doing a Spanish version of a carbonara dish served in a parmesan basket that we made earlier on. I don't really need to say much about this, it's pretty self-explanatory. Water, bit of salt, pasta. Not a lot of salt because you are going to use some of this water in your dish. Grab some pasta, I quite like linguine but whatever you want. Pop that in there. I can't find a lid. So I'm going to use the frying pan. To make the carbonara is really simple. It's not a traditional this, and we're going for a slightly Spanish thing. So instead of using pancetta or bacon, we're going to use some chorizo. Get your eggs. If you're doing it for two people, you probably need a couple of eggs. I'm only going to do it for one, so one egg should be enough for this. Aficionados in the world of carbonara will say never add cream. I agree, but I quite like a tiny drop. About a tablespoon or two of Parmesan cheese into it. Right, so the pasta's almost done, so we're going to drain this quickly. First of all, grab a cup and take a, about half of the water out of there, which you're going to use in a minute. Drain the rest of it. Let the pasta cool for a moment. Quickly fry your chorizo. So you're just heating that through. It doesn't really need to be cooked, but it'll warm through and just let the juices come out of it. Put your pasta in there, pour the eggs into here, and keep stirring. You don't want scrambled eggs. You just want this to cook through the natural heat coming from the pan touch of the water. We're then going to add the chorizo, which will give it a lovely colour and a different flavour than you normally get with a traditional carbonara. Over a very low heat, which on an argue that means I'm going to take it off and on a little bit. You just want to cook through that egg slightly. A little bit more of the sauce that you use to cook pasta in. Give it some black pepper. Grab a bit of parsley. Sprinkle that in. To complete the dish, you've got your bowl that you made earlier, your parmesan basket. Get yourself a fork. Twirl this around. Sprinkle the rest on. So get yourself an egg. Separate the yolk. Rest that on there. Last turn of pepper. Spanish style carbonara in a parmesan basket. And it tastes fabulous. It's creamy, it's rich. You've got the smokiness of the chorizo. It looks amazing. Break off a bit of the basket. Pop it on top. Mm. Wonderful.